Hi, Mickey Quinn here with Retail Level Up. You know, we just passed the halfway mark. That's right, half the year, gone, done. Can't get it back. But hey, you've got another six months to go, right? Plenty of time to catch up. M no, not if you're gonna keep sticking with that mentality that you had when you set your annual goals. When you set annual goals, you can fall into the trap of believing that you have plenty of time. You have a whole year to get those goals achieved. You lack a sense of urgency when you set annual goals. Now the procrastinators out there, oh, they love annual goals. Annual goals give you so much time and to take action or not. Annual goals are a procrastinator's dream. If you want to perform at your best though, you need to get out of the annual goal mindset. You need to stop thinking in the terms of a year and think in a smaller, shorter time frame. Success is actually created in the moment, every day, every week. Execution happens, after all, daily and weekly, not monthly and quarterly. You know those end of season or end of the year sales events? You know when retailers pull out all the stops and there's balloons and there's a ton of inventory on the floor and a ton of salespeople on the floor too. Everyone's focused on that year-end push to get the business. And it's not just in retailers. It happens in insurance companies, financial institutions, car dealerships, and software providers. It is the busiest time of the year for a lot of industries. There is no time to waste. There are clear objectives to hit. Workers are focused on critical projects. And there also tends to be an increase in performance-related conversations between managers and employees. So why do people behave differently in November and December compared to how they behave in July and August? Inevitably, it's because there's a deadline, December 31st, the end of the annual goal timeframe. When the deadline is looming, people are forced to face those obstacles and the barriers and to do the tasks that they've been procrastinating on all year. So you see, Annual goals are the procrastinator's dream. But what if you could create that energy and focus and commitment and action every week throughout the year? Just imagine what you could accomplish. And it's a lot easier than you might think. Thomas Edison said, if we did all the things we are capable of doing, we would literally astound ourselves. Well, the process is pretty simple. You still set annual goals, but you break them down into smaller time frames. Annual goals give you too much time, too much temptation for procrastination. Oh, well, then it must be daily and weekly goals, right? Mm, no. We all know that life happens. Unexpected priorities pop up. And if you try to set your goals too stringently with little room for adjustment, you tend to get frustrated and that's when you tend to quit. Three months is the sweet spot. Three months is long enough time to make some serious progress and short enough time to keep that sense of urgency and focus. So if you want to break the procrastinator's habit when it comes to annual goals, break those goals down into three month goals and then track your actions on a daily and weekly basis and review how you did every week. Tracking and measuring your progress every week is what will keep you on track. Give the three-month goal thing a try. It really works and you can get amazing results. For more tips like this, like us and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, and wherever you listen to your favorite podcast, just search for Retail Level Up. Be sure to visit our website, retaillevelup.com, and sign up for our weekly emails. We send Monday Motivation and Top Tip Tuesday because we all can use a little extra motivation right now and we can certainly use some top tips because now, even more than ever, it's time to level up.